good evening, good evening everyone. Welcome to Zack, 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 Zack Discoveries. A wonderful time we're meeting once again. Mm, I really appreciate for all of you coming in to check on me. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the concern. Thank you so much for love and for everything. So first of all, we appreciate God for giving us this particular opportunity to meet. So being a wonderful evening, Today I'm in the village and uh, my home village. You know, by the way, we have those people who have never known where I come from. But I come from Mchebe. Yeah, for those who have been following me for quite some time, you know, Mchebe is a certain village. That one time we came and uh, we had some widows that we were helping out. You remember we have ladies that we even registered in the National Health Insurance card. We have children that we once did a very big, 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 big party for. And uh, so we even donated some clothes to them. Uh, all that care of you people. People like MD, wherever he is, guy, may God keep you safe. May God bless you because you touch those people's hearts. To do that, in fact, they are... Okay, their card expired. Their card, I think... By that time, by then, because the card is supposed to last for a whole year. And uh, I don't know whether it's expired or it's still on you, because those were the ladies that you helped. There were three in Mchebe village, and we have uh, Mama Baraka that was also included in that group. So this is the village that I was born. So today I'm here because of some the things that I wanted to check on. Yeah, there's a time that I brought you yeah, around here. But uh, we have not known much about this village. It's evening, that's why you can hear the sound, the, the musical sounds of the birds. Um, yeah, I know most of you would want to know much about the project we're having. But uh, for now, that project, you cannot talk about it. God willing, one day it will be, it will be exposed how far we are. Or... Is it as a standstill? Yeah, because there's nothing I can talk about because uh, nothing's happening. But one thing you need to know what we are we are lacking. Remember there's a time we lacked a lot of stuff there. Uh, we could not even paint, but it came to a point God opened the way. We did the painting and we even got furniture. We really appreciate God, you know. I always say that where you see yourself, this door has been closed. Another door will be opened. So God opened that door for, the, for us. So we had the paint coming in. We did it. Yeah, I have not shown you because uh, there's nothing new to show in that place. Because you all know what has happened there. So for now, we are lacking. There are things that have not been they are not there. But... Uh, uh, God will bless you. For those who are still wishing of helping that family, we have a long way to still go. We have the slab to do. We have uh, the slab. When I talk about slab, we have the front part that we still have to do. We have uh, the fencing that needs to be done. Then, uh, you remember also that lady has no business because even if today we hand over that project to that lady, for example, even if we don't continue in anything, that lady, she has nothing she has to do. Because you know the lady, that lady from Joseph's land is quite small. And um, that piece of land cannot even sustain that family. And that is the, re the main reason that you people saw uh, in that family and you came in to help. So you helped where you did. And we really appreciate God. Even we came, even if we came to a point there where we stuck, we stuck completely. Uh, I remember we had a very big problem. We had a financial problem, but uh, God is God. That is why always He will remain God. So fencing. That means when I talk about the fencing, remember we have labor, we have the nails, we have the wires. We have the, is it the is it called the wire mesh? Then we have two wires. We have the barbed wire and we have the wire mesh. Then we have the posts. 
we have the cement, we have the ballast, we have water. Yeah, but uh, so those are the things that I have been talking about recently. So we have the fencing part of it. Again, we have the slab. So the slab, the front part, front part. For those people who remember that project, for those who saw Jose the Masson's video, yeah, we have the front part where that house was demolished. Then, uh, so we have the slab. When again we talk about the slab, there we have the cement. Uh, cements, we have, in fact, the last time I was in church at the Masson there, we talked about 10 cements. We talked about uh, a pickup of ballast. We talked about, uh, yeah, the sand by the way was quite often used. So we are going to add a pickup of sand. We have labor for two days. We have water. Yeah, so those are the things. For those people who, who are saying that uh, uh, Mama Joseph's project, that is how far we are. The fencing will do well to that lady. Then from there we talk about the business for that lady. So if, for example, get her, well, the last time I talked to her, she said she would love to do poultry, the same as Baba Godfrey. So that means we do poultry for that lady. We cannot keep poultry in that house. Uh, the hens, the cocks, you can't keep it in that, in that house, beautiful house. You can't keep it anywhere else because you don't have another place you can store those uh, hens. That means we have to construct a chicken coop. So, for those who have been wanting to know exactly how far the project is, yeah, that's much I can talk about in that project. But uh, I'm sorry that I've not visited that place recently because of the... Um, yeah, because there's nothing to show there that is new that you don't know. So, but uh, we really appreciate God that he has given us this opportunity to... Yeah, so sorry someone was calling. So that is why we're saying that uh, all your support are still needed in that family. So chicken coop, that is another part. But I'm very happy that oh, so, so many people of you have been wanting to know more about the project. The same, same way we request to know about the project, please. Let's come in and help out that family. The same, same way. Thank you so much for all of you, all of you who have played a part in that project. And uh, we really appreciate God. That is a project that I have always been telling you was like a big log on me. Thank you so much for ensuring it is success. So here, let me show you what yeah, So as I was saying, this is my village. I'll be showing you about in my home. And um, by the way, I'm, uh, I keep cows. I keep not cows, but I have a cow. Oh, so I had come to check on this nepia grass. Oh my goodness, it is overgrown. For those people who are agriculturalists, please tell me something about uh, the nepia grass. Uh, so this one, for those cows that we milk, this one is not the right size. So I'd come to check on it because I need it to be cut. Huh? For it to be cut completely. Then once it's cut, so we slash the whole the entire of this land. This one. So once it is slashed. Now this is our piece of land. Remember, so those are our villages. This is where I grew. Those are our neighbors. Those are our neighbors. So we used to play here when we were young. Yeah, you can see the kind of houses we usually build here. So this is the entirely village, village life. And I've been talking about, uh, you remember when uh, you people donate to families, huh? and you're like, oh, Zach, please buy nodules, Zach, please buy more rice, please Zach, buy snacks. But I've been telling you that uh, here, in our place here, in, in, our, in our county, in our county, in our country, most families, especially us, our tribe, the staple food is ugali. This is cassava. Uh, this is my our neighbor's land. This is cassava. So this is how it's prepared. It's already wooded. It's clean. You can see it's clean down here. So ugali is the main thing. Ugali is the main thing I'm telling you. So... When you buy rice, remember, they have those people who have believed that when you eat rice, 
you have not eaten. <laughs> when you eat rice, you have not eaten. I'm telling you. Yeah, so our land is here. Now, this is my mom's cassava. You see how cassava goes. Yeah, by the way, Nigerians, for those people who are watching from Nigeria, people like a uh, modest lifestyle. <laughs> tell us, tell us how you call this. Tell us, because I'm, I know you're coming from Nigeria. Yeah, modest lifestyle is, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know also where the black beauty come from, that country. But you have those reactors like modest lifestyle. But I know she's a Nigerian lady. So tell us, they have a name they call this. But, uh, and they love it. It's like also their staple food. So also this one is also our staple food. It's our staple meal. And uh, it's very good by the way. It's ugali. Mmm, so good. When you get it with uh, something like roasted meat, you also get it with uh, fried. Fried uh, omena. You know omena, small fish? It's so good. So my mom. So there's a way we move it. When you want to remove it from the soil, you dig it out. You dig it out like this. So that is it. So my mom is inside. Yeah, that is all where I come from. That is where I come from. Yeah, so I don't know what I'll be going in. So you remember for you people, by then there's a time that uh, it rained heavily. And um, I love trees. I love greens. A lot. More than anything. More than anything. So I planted this tree, by the way. During that, I think they have like a... Is it a year? Yeah, only that I cannot go inside because it's evening here. And it's dark. But I can still go in because we have the roads that pass. But you know, I, I planted these trees here like it was like a joke. And right now, I'm telling you, soon I'll be harvesting timbers here. Yeah, so you remember there's a time even I brought... Uh, some herbicides and some pesticides. Yeah, so I was putting on them and there. So the other one, this side, it's evening by the way. Also, this is another forest of mine. So nothing goes on a waste because you put a tree down, one day you'll be harvesting it. Just like a joke. One day you harvest it, I'm telling you. Yeah, something that you see like is uh, not important to us. One day, you're going to harvest. So for example, I have some trees here that I can come and get some timbers from, like this one. It's a little bit dark, but I planted these trees that time. For those people who remember. You remember one of my videos I did called uh, It's Rainy Time, It's Planting Season for Zach Discoveries. For those who have been watching me, ah, I thank God. You people encouraged me. You said you love it. And I did it. I'm having good tree. Only that I came when it's evening. You can see we can act movies here. No loot movies here around here. So, this is my home village. This is my home. This is where I come from, by the way. Yeah, so, when we did our toilet, <laughs> when we did our toilet, we didn't have the curtain or whatever. That one came a little bit later when we were doing uh, when we were doing now the projects. So I love trees. I'm telling you, I love trees. So this is our compound. This is my mom's house. Yeah, the one we constructed for. So I'm doing a little bit slow renovation, finishing, but it's hard. You remember, there's a time I was fixing the a long time ago. I was fixing the toilets. And I was fixing also the ceiling. So one day, God dealing when uh, I get some finance. Yeah, because I trust I'll get finance. I'll come and finish because I've done like three quarters of the ceiling. Yeah. The rest I've not done it. But I'll do it slow by slow. And we shall finish. Yeah, so when I say I love nature and I love green. Yeah, also this is another... These are, not the, these are the trees that I planted here. They're doing, they're doing good. In fact, I'm happy. When I see trees growing like this, I feel very lovely. Because one time now we shall, we shall slash down here. Like this. And we shall have a place where people can rest. So one day we are hoping that electricity will come to our... Okay, we have it. There's a school on the other side of these trees. 
so there's electricity but uh, the government has not yet come up with means of making sure that the rural people are electrified they, they have electrifications so that's why we did the preparation we did the plan the plant the piping part yeah when we say we did that is me and my brothers yeah so this is our home yeah most of the time i've been showing you but uh I love trees. What I say, I love trees. All this you're seeing, these are trees that I planted. Some of them I remember I planted them when I was still in high school. Yeah, so so I came here and I wanted also to check on my mom, apart from checking on the Napier grass. Yeah, because my mom, she's inside and I also brought her some food. Yeah, the food that I brought for her is... Um, banana banana you know this yeah so also nigerians they have a, a name for it those who are watching from nigeria please tell us we call it matoke in uganda they call it again the matoke so sweet yeah so we're here i think she's sleeping or whether she's sleeping but i'll be going in so i'll call her so guys this is my village home village so I grew in this house. One day I'll show you. I grew in this house. Okay, not necessarily this one, but we migrated. Remember where the Napier grass is? There. That is where our home used to be. Long ago. In fact, for those people who know where our home used to be, you can tell. When you come, I'll show you the signs, the landmarks. So we migrated from here. We moved here. Then... My brother constructed this one, the other one constructed them, then where my mom's house, another one house was there. Yeah, so we lived there, but I grew in this house after my brother now got uh, old enough, he moved out, he left me with this one. So I grew here. I went to high school in this house. Mad house, yes, mad house. Yeah, so, but really appreciate God. So you graduate slowly by slowly, slowly. Basically. But I'm praying that uh, uh, one day we'll have uh, electricity in this village. Electricity in this village. So when we say that uh, mom is living with her, with her grandchildren, they're okay. So you can see, this is the manhole. So meaning uh, those, um, those pipings. Those